help you. I uh, yes. Good morning. Uh, is this recording? It is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I turn to the best I can. What, what's your name? Uh, my name's Shine. Uh, I've been driving for about uh for about six years. Um, uh, right now I'm just you know doing my you know doing my research. I saw your ad in one of the uh in one of the social media. Uh, I think it was either Facebook or Instagram or something like that. And, you know, I just came across it and I just wanted to, you know, see what you guys, see what you guys have available. Gotcha. What, uh, what's your zip code? Let me start with that so I can see what opportunities I have available. Uh, my zip code is 44108. Oh, perfect. So you live in the Cleveland area. Good area. How, how, do you, around there. how do you pronounce the name of the company? Halverline. Oh, it's Halver. So, H-A-L. Uh, yeah, Hal, and then Vore. Halver. Halverline. Okay, okay, okay. How how long have you guys been in existence? Not that long. Only 53 years. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um. All right, so... Being that you that I'm out of the Cleveland area, what uh what what what's available for me? Let's see what we got here. So just looking to see if there's now I, I can always do traditional over the road. I don't require my drivers to stay out for you know three, four weeks. If you want to do that, I can do that. So just to give you a heads up on that. What about we've actually got um what about uh, what about what about home home on a weekend? I can't guarantee that you'd be home on weekends, but I can tell you that you'd be looking at, like, in my dry van division and my refrigerated and flatbed, it's like five to seven days out, two days home. Usually what happens is once somebody comes on board with us, then you start talking with your fleet manager and, and let them know, hey, I want to be home on weekends, and, and then they get you into the you know our freight mix, and, and they can make it happen. That everybody's a little bit different on, on you know what they want to do for their home time and, and how it works. And we don't actually have things that are set up as specifically dedicated. Uh, okay. Okay. Um all right. So if uh if do I was close to do you live close to Haviland, Ohio by chance? Uh not to my knowledge. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why why why? What's going on what's going on there? Well, in Hamland, Ohio, I've actually got what we call our power sports division. Now, that one I want to say I know that those drivers do mostly get home on weekends. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're you're hauling from the distribution center in Hamland, Ohio, and and running basically, you know, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Ohio, the western part of PA, and and you're moving ATVs. They're preloaded trailers. There's ramps that you have to set up, and you actually are driving the units off there at the dealerships. You get paid extra pay for doing that. You get an extra $100 per trailer, plus you also get extra stop pay as well, so it's $32 per stop. There's oh. usually about four or five stops per trailer, so there's really a good opportunity to make some good money. Now, is this uh, is this uh, tractor trailer a day cab or a sleeper? A sleeper. Okay, so will I be able to take my truck home? Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we, we do actually require you to, to find a secure place for a truck and trailer. You know, there might be some circumstances where you don't have a trailer, but we always have to count on that you would have one to be on the safe side because we, we don't, you know, necessarily have always a, a drop yard that's right next door to, you know, where a driver may live. All right, so what about this? What if I... Uh, what if I have a secure parking spot for the trailer and I'm able to PC uh, home and, and park the, the tractor in my yard? Yeah, again, I mean, that, those are things that, you know, you, you want to you know, work out. I mean, I, I know I have some drivers doing that, but I, I, I can't say with 100% certainty that your situation would, would be one of those. You know, because you know, if it happens to be a loaded, you know, like refrigerated load, I'm just using that as an example. Or for that fact, those ATVs, those are expensive. Mm -hmm. So it may be one of those things where they say, you know what, we don't want you unhooking from that because that's a high-value load. 
Okay, okay. So we might end up bringing it home all over the weekend and then delivering it on Monday. Exactly. Sometimes it happens where you have an empty trailer. Sometimes it's maybe half empty or half full, depending on your point of view. And sometimes it's completely full so that you can get home for the weekend and then, you know, just start your weekend out on, you know, on your week out on like Sunday night, Monday morning leave out. So, yeah, there's different scenarios. Everybody uh, usually works with a different type of schedule. Okay. So if I'm, so let's just say I'm interested in that uh, particular, in that particular line. What's, what's the, uh, what's, how, how much I, What's the miles per, uh, how much I get miles, you know, for the miles? How much, how how much, much I get? Do you have? Uh, six years. Okay, so we do a base pay of 48 cents. There is an additional 10 cents that you can make as well. That's on bonuses, and that's calculated quarterly and paid to you quarterly. But let's, let's just stick with the weekly stuff for this, the Power Sports Division. So 48 cents would be the mileage. Again, you get paid $32 per stop, and there's usually four or five stops per trailer. And then plus you get an extra $100 per trailer because you're setting up the ramps and you're putting them back. So you can really make some good money in that. Okay. So uh, driver assists and stops and cent per mile. We, 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 we accumulate all that. How, how many miles that we can average out of this? You know, I, every driver is a little bit different. You know, sometimes it could be 2,000, 2,500. The thing is, is if you're doing 2,000, then you probably have a, a trailer that has more stops on it, which means you actually are getting more stop pay. So, I mean, I'm confident to say 2,500 because even the money that you'd be making with that, you'd more than make up with, with the extra stops. Does that make sense? Yeah, that yeah that, may, that makes plenty of sense. All right, so... So let's let's just say if we I'm, did if we did twenty five hundred just by the forty eight cents, you'd you'd be looking at about you know twelve hundred dollar gross right there just on the the the, the base pay and the mileage of twenty five hundred. Okay, so let's just say that um. So keep, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just gonna say. Remember, that's just the mileage. So let's just go with even three trailers. Let's say you only did three trailers. That's an extra three hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for each one of those trailers that would go on top of that. Now you're up to fifteen hundred, and then oh, stop pay. Let's just you know put hundred dollars per trailer, even though it may be more than that. That's another three hundred dollars. Now you're up to eighteen hundred dollars. So with everything, with everything in t- in in tune, we can we can see our gross pay anywhere like 1900 between 19 and 1500 weekly before taxes. Yeah, I, I, I always like to go with the 1200 just as a, you know, there, there's, there's the floor and the opportunity to make more money is most definitely there. I'd rather have operations over delivered. You've been doing this long enough. You've talked to recruiters or go ahead and throw high numbers in your direction Mm -hmm. just to go ahead and have you go work for the company. And the next thing you know, there's there's absolutely no follow through from you know from right. operations, and the recruiter's like, well, you know, that's that's the number I gave them. It's like, you know what? There's the potential to make more. I got. I want to make sure that you understand that. Okay. It's on a weekly basis. I mean, there's even a potential to make more with the bonuses, but you know, I, I I normally like to go with lower numbers. And and that way, you know, you know that the opportunity to make more money is always there. All right, so that's forty-eight cent uh, coming in for that particular lane, but over the road is what? Well, it depends on which division that you're going with. So, like for example, if you went with our refrigerated division, mm-hmm. it'd be a base pay of fifty-one cents. Still have the extra ten cents in bonuses, so you you can make up to sixty-one cents per mile. That's loaded empty on the refrigerated, but. There's usually not as many, as much extra pay. It's just pretty much the mileage you're counting on. Mm-hmm. What about uh, what about the other two divisions, flatbed and driving? Flatbed is going to be predominantly, uh, you know, Midwest, Northeast. You still get home on a weekly basis, but that one's going to be percentage. Oh, okay. With, with your experience that you have, you'd be looking at 
thirty percent that you'd get of the uh, the total line haul and accessorial charge. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that when you look at flatbed and deck van and power sports, that's what I refer to it as. They really, I mean, I really see more opportunities to to earn more and and more consistency in my deck van division. But you know, again, you know, it's it's all preference. I mean, let's face it. For flatbed, you've got a tarp that you got to worry about running. Whereas in my power sports division, it's a 53 foot dry van. We just put decking in it so that they can double stack. And, and there's you know a nice drop and hook opportunity when you're empty with the, the, the power sports. You take that trailer back to the distribution center, pick up a new trailer, drop off the old one, pick up a new trailer, you're ready to go. Okay, okay. That's what's up. Uh, that sounds very interesting. So let's say, let's say if I'm interested in the uh, in the power sport. So let, let's say that one. Let's let's go with that one and concentrate uh -huh. on that one. Okay. Um, where's where's the uh, terminal that I had to come in for orientation, and how would you guys get me there? I I do enterprise car rental. Unless you want to fly, I mean, I could fly you in too. Um, but uh, either one of those options, it'd be Rosemount, Minnesota. Oh, Rosemount, Minnesota? If, if, yeah. So if you flew in, if you, you'd go from Cleveland to Minneapolis, St. Paul, mm -hmm. and then we'd go ahead and put you in a hotel. It's a one-day orientation. And oh. get your truck assigned to you. And then we do a $1,000 orientation pay as well. Uh, so the $1,000, how was is, how is that paid out on the first check? Correct. Okay. 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 All right. So that's uh, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Now, now being that you guys giving me a thousand dollars for orientation pay, and it's only a one day orientation, would that mean everything else, like you know, pre employment screening, like uh, for drug testing, would be done before I got there or when I get there? It, it's usually beforehand, but, um, you know, if by chance there isn't anywhere that's close to you and, and we can't get the schedules to mix up, I would just have you uh, make sure that you arrive like the day before. Okay. What about, what? what, what is it? Or, uh, uh, urine or uh, hair yeah. follicle? First one. Oh, hold on. Hold on. So it's urine? Yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so uh, day trip, come up there, grab my grab my trailer once I get approved. What, you know what, in the midst of uh, getting approved, what can, what, what can disqualify me from coming on with you guys? Too many moving violations, too many accidents, um, the, the wrong moving violation, you know, texting while driving, that's an immediate disqualification. Um, you know, a DOT preventable accident, that, that could disqualify you right away. What, um, what, you know, what, many jobs, you know, if you've got, if you got 12 jobs in the last three years, I probably can't get you approved. What about, what, what about if a driver, because you know, I'm in, I'm in all these drivers groups on, on, on Facebook and, you know, and I talk to them through Instagram and stuff like that. What if a driver uh, gets uh, gets a cell phone ticket, but the ticket, but he wasn't he, he wasn't testing or anything like that. He was just he was just lost and he was looking at his GPS so he can, you know, find where he was at. But of course, he still got the ticket. That's that's still an immediate disqualification for you guys. Correct, because it. it it doesn't differentiate between whether you're actually on a telephone call. It, it basically says you will not ever have any handheld device. And if you're found by, you know, law enforcement to have any kind of handheld device, even if it's not a cell phone, even if it's a GPS, that that's still not allowed. It's got to be hands free. You've got to have that, you know, in, in a cradle of some sort. Mm. All right. All right. What about uh? All right, so we already talked about how much I can make on this uh, on this particular lane that you got available. What about the equipment? What, what's the equipment I'll be driving? 
Um, the equipment that you'd be driving, uh, by our goals, by the end of the year, we're trying to have nothing older than 2019 in our uh, fleet. We've got a lot of Volvos, a lot of Kenworths. We do have some Freightliners. All of our trucks are automatic. We uh, govern all of our units at 65. All of them have 1,800-watt inverters that last for 10 hours. We've also got uh, refrigerators in there and then a flat screen TV, a satellite for the TV, and a DVR system for the TV. And we don't charge the drivers anything extra for that. Okay. What about uh, what about the driver cam system? We don't have driver-facing ones, but we do have cameras in all our units. They're front and side view. In case you got somebody that cuts in front of you and slams on the brakes, we can go ahead and prove you weren't at fault. Okay, okay. Now, you, of course, I've been driving, you know, for, you know, for six years. And, you know, I come across some of these companies that, you know, worked in the past. Uh, they usually have they fuel stops that they like for their drivers to go to. So as far as you guys go, uh, you know, because us drivers have, you know, have a favorite fuel stop to go to. But what's, we, have a, what's we have a favorite fuel station. We have a favorite fuel station for you to go to as well. It's called the one that we've already negotiated a lower rate for our fuel. Because when we save money on fuel costs, we give that money back to our drivers. So you, you follow the fuel solution that's in the dispatch, it, it, it can be beneficial to you. If you don't follow it, it won't be beneficial to you. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, you know, take money away from you, but you're, you're literally keeping money away from yourself by, by doing that. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So what's the fuel solutions that you guys uh, would like for you drivers to go to? We go all over, flying J's, pilots, loves, TAs. Oh, okay. Quick trip. There's not one particular one that we go with. It's just that it doesn't mean that we work with every single one of them that's out there. You know, again, we've we're we're part of a fuel consortium where we we work together to make sure that we can get the the best price. Okay. So with this uh, lane that we're that we're concentrating on, um, that that lane, I will be able to get home every you know every weekend. I I will be home. Friday, or at least get home Friday. I will have Saturday, Sunday, and then back on Monday for a whatever drop or anything like that, right? And I, everybody's schedule is a little bit different, but that that's the way it's it's geared is for you to be able to be home on weekend. Okay, okay, okay. What's the uh? What what, what do you guys have a? A uh, actual sign-on bonus that you guys offer, or is it just the one thousand uh, dollars orientation pay? No, we don't do sign-on bonuses. We, we we go ahead and pay drivers for you know going through the orientation process and completing that aspect of it, and um, you know get have have good options to make more money on us for for producing. Okay, that's what's up. What about uh, what about uh, if that's the case, what's what's you guys' uh, turnover rate? Last time I checked, it's right around forty percent. I believe industry average is over a hundred percent. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, uh, benefits. What 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 benefits do you guys offer? Do and do we have to pay? So medical, dental, and vision are available the first of the month. About sixty days of employment. We've also got uh, vacation pay, that's after one year, uh, 401k options, that's after six months. So, I mean, we, we do help out with the pay of it, but you, you do have to pay in some amount. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um. All right. Well, I, I think that's about all I have. Um. What about, what, what's your policies on, Um. well, let me, well, the policy. So, uh, pet and rider policy. Yep. Pet, pet friendly and rider policy friendly. So you're good there. All right. How how um uh, like you know how how old uh for the for for the rider can can we have them as young as like four or five? No. Age limit is ten. Ten. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um. 
What about felons? Do you guys do it? What, what's your policy on felons? Why did you get caught? No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm. I'm can, not. I'm. You, I'm not a you, felon. You, I'm you, just. You know. I'm. I'm we, we don't. We don't discriminate against felons. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is you. You know, they're more than willing to to apply. You know, we still have other areas. We got to make sure that they meet our minimum hiring criteria anyway. So, mm -hmm. no, a bit, a, having a, any kind of criminal background is not automatically qualified. Okay. 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 All right. Well. Um. Well, that's 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 about all I have. I mean, you know, I'll definitely put this, you know, on the, you know, on the look into list. And I would also take, you know, I took voice notes. So I will also take this information back with me to my Facebook group and let them know that I, you know, that I talked to them and all like that. Is it for 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 the drivers that um, that I talked to that might be interested in coming in you mind if i give them your you know give them your contact number so they can get in contact with you i don't have a problem with that i'm just wondering when are you going to come on board with us so that we can go ahead and get you a referral bonus uh <laughs> you know it's funny that you mentioned that uh it's funny that you mentioned that referral bonus um what about what about drivers that has a that has a pretty good standing uh, a pretty good social media standing. Um, I don't mind uh, promoting the company for for the referral bonus, but is there is there any other uh, is there any other options that the drivers can come on and get? You know, when they do promote the company, they can get uh, like like an ad bonus or something like that. Like they actually get paid for promoting the, promoting the company. Not that I'm aware of. You're, you're getting paid is by talking about your experience and how you know we work with you. And if it's an enjoyable experience, obviously you're going to be talking to drivers and to telling them how you've had an enjoyable experience, which should work into getting referrals. And now you've got a referral bonus. That's that's how you know you end up getting paid. And quite honestly, uh, you know it's 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 a lot easier. For a driver to go ahead and get somebody to uh, you know listen to them and, and come on board, then it usually is for a recruiter because I mean let's face it, you're out there doing the day-to-day -day grind. You know you, you can actually give them all the different perspectives, um, and it's usually pretty spot on. Right, right, and that's what I'm talking about. I mean you know because what what everybody says you know always talk to the drivers about the companies that they work for, but. You, you got to understand this is a this is a new millennium. This, you know, this is, a, you know, this is all new ways of 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 drivers that drive for the companies that can reach out to potential drivers now. And, you know, they you know, they have a strong presence like, you know, maybe before, you know, before social media, you know, it will probably been all right. You know, driver face to face, you know, talking that. At, at the fuel station or talking at the, at the, you know, at the restaurant. Hey, you know, I drive for such and such and this, you know, this, that, and the third. But now with social media, you know, being the way it is, because that's, of course, that's how I found you guys uh, via social media. I mean, that, that's that ad that you guys, you guys had to pay for that ad. So, I'm I'm thinking outside of the box, like, well, if you guys could pay for that ad, then y'all could take that budget, that ad budget that y'all have, and y'all could give it to some of you guys' drivers so that they can get a little bit more incentive to, you know, promote the company because not all not all drivers. The, and that's what the referral bonus but that's what the referral bonus is. Well that, yeah. That's us taking part of the budget and, and, and applying it towards you. So there's there's no cap on that. You know, you you can refer as many drivers as you want and as many of them that get hired, you're gonna get paid the referral bonus on, on every one of those drivers. Right, but see there's a there's a catch to that referral bonus. That 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 driver that comes in and and use the you know that driver as a referral they had to stay for what 90 days in order for that one driver to get paid am i correct 
to get the full payment, you, you, but you also will still get the first installment. So the two thousand dollar referral bonus, you're going to get a thousand dollars for them, you know, attending orientation and and completing, you know, two full turns, you know. So that's about a week, and now you get a thousand dollars. I mean, if they end up not completing orientation, I mean, they didn't really get hired. Mm. So I mean, even if they don't stay ninety days, you're still benefiting. From that. That's still an extra thousand dollars. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? Hey, it's 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 been an awesome conversation. I I really do uh I really do appreciate you uh taking the time out and uh and talking with me again. Like I said, I you know I I got a me personally. I have a strong uh multimedia uh multimedia uh social media presence. So um I will definitely take this information that I got uh take it back to the group. And, uh, and, and, you know, let, and let them know. So I appreciate the convo, man. Thank you. Not a problem. Do you want me to send you an email, follow up, have some information on there? Uh, I tell you what, you can, uh, send the email to lockout men. That's L O C K O U T M E N at gmail.com. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and take all that information that you send via email and I'll post that in a in in my groups as well. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much. All right, I appreciate you. Thank you. Have Lore Have Lines. That's H A L V O R. Out of Minnesota. I thought they was huh. I I thought they was out of uh Wisconsin somewhere. I could have I could have sworn that I could have sworn that it was out of Wisconsin, but you know what? Maybe the main office and everything might be in uh, Wisconsin, but I guess to come up there for their orientation and everything is up in Minnesota. So it does, it does work. It it, it does work that way, I guess. Um, if you guys are interested in Javier Lines. Uh, the phone number, uh, toll free, 800-288-294, I mean, one, four. You guys could give them a call, see what they, you know, see what they got to offer. We just pretty much stuck with the, uh, stuck with the, uh, Ohio. I forget what he said, but, but with the Ohio run. Uh, that runs Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, and we will be dropping off um, power sports equipment. Each trailer is a hundred dollars. Uh, each stop is in is is around thirty something dollars, and you get forty eight cent per mile. So you can average, you know, with twenty five hundred miles, you can average anywhere between. On the low end, twelve hundred dollars to eighteen hundred dollars. Not bad. I mean, that's 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 a pretty good run. But if you want, if you just want the um, regular over the road, regular over the road is like uh, fifty one cent per mile, and it's it's a flat it's a flat rate flat rate coming in so if you like five year driver six year driver it's pretty much a flat rate now maybe more if a driver you know is at his 10 mark maybe more but i don't know you guys let me know in the comments below let let me know in the comments below what's a good starting pay for drivers in the fifth year uh Drivers between their, I'm, I'm going to say, let's do it like this. Drivers between their first and fifth year. Drivers between their fifth and tenth year. And I'm going to go as far as to say drivers between their tenth and fifteenth year. What do you think the pay should be? What, what do you think the pay should be? I mean, if a driver been out here like between the the fifth and the tenth year, they, they should be somewhere. In my opinion, I think they should be somewhere in the close to the seventy mark. 
close to the 70 mark. Maybe, maybe 60. I'm, I'm going to say like maybe, maybe 60, 65 ish. And then maybe the 10th through the 15th year, maybe around 70 plus. All right. I, I don't think somebody would, would within the 10th and the 15th year should start, uh, should start at, at nothing less than at nothing, nothing less than 60. That's what I think. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's engage about it. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think. All right. Uh again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this call. Now, I am sorry, so sorry for the audio quality of the phone call. I know he kept going in and kept going out. So I, I did try to treat it in post so that you guys could hear them pretty good. But but, yeah, it, it was it, it was it was bad audio. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have to admit it, it was bad audio. Um, but overall, Javier Lines, if you guys want to check out more about Javier Lines, Havlor, Havlor Lines, Havlor Lines. <laughs> Havlor Lines. You can check them out online at havlorlines.com. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Lockout Men podcast. Thank you very much, the MTC edition. This was a requested uh, call. So, shout out to the young man that made that request. Um, if you guys are interested, so if you guys are interested in any calls that you want to make or any companies that you want me to make, let me know, you know, and if you want to shout out, support the call because these calls are not sponsored. I'm just saying. So if you guys want to support me with some coffee, do that. The cash app is dollar sign lockout men. Uh, let me know the company you want me to call and uh, and, you know, put your name in there so I can shout you out for the call. All right. Until next time, everybody, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that other good stuff that y'all do with the uh, Make the Call series. Five years strong going on six. This year is almost done. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, before we go, have, have Lord Lines have... Uh, three divisions. They got a flatbed division, a dry van division, and a reefer division. The reefer division, I believe, is 51, uh, 51 cent per mile, and the flatbed division is percentage. So you'll be able to have some options going on. All right. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy. I'll come back at you with another one. Peace.